So the 116th is out here uh, at Exercise Century North 2025, uh, and we're exercising with uh, uh, additional partners from the 165th and the 248th Pennsylvania and Georgia Air Support Operations Squadrons. The primary goal uh, from a training perspective is really to drive at dynamic targeting scenarios and start to utilize uh, some of our newer mission sets, some of our newer capabilities, um, and some of the things that we are starting to do in Air Force Special Warfare that are really additive to what we've always done and what we've always known in the past, which is primarily close air support. It's taking what we've really been good at for a very long time, and it's allowing us to get out and expand the edge of the battle through networking, uh, advanced RF comms, and really get an opportunity to showcase how we can participate in both opening and closing kill chains. And so we basically take our integrated sensing and effects teams, we push those guys out forward, uh, and then they are assisting in what we call ground-based reconnaissance or, or reconnaissance surveillance and target acquisition process. And they take that data, uh, location data, um, uh, characteristic data, they may be able to tell you whether or not that target is radiating, et cetera. They will push that information back to the command and control element who really correlates all that data together, uh, checks that that data is, is high fidelity uh, and that it's what they need. Uh, and then they're pushing that data out to the broader theater air control system, which is really what we call tactical command and control. Um, and what's important about that is that once it gets there, we're able to task aircraft, uh, sometimes via data, sometimes via voice. Um, we're able to basically provide that, that fidelity, that one last look uh, for those aircraft so that you know they're able to get positive effects on the target. And the challenge that we have with, with C2 now, or what we're calling our new TAC-P command and control, is really blending the sensing and effects teams forward with a forward C2 element. We're taking all of that, that command and control capability, uh, we're actually shrinking it down and putting it into uh, mobile systems, whether that's a car, a van, a truck, etc., and we're pushing them a lot further out from where they were before. And it allows the sensing and effects teams to get that data back to those C2 teams and then the C2 teams to blast it out. This exercise certainly validated um, not only where, where we were, but where we thought we were. Um, and it really gives me actually a lot of hope uh, for the future because what I saw out there was all of our, all of our mission elements operating together uh, successfully uh, to support the overall exercise and to support these more complicated mission scenarios 